Hey guys, everybody remembers the Trevor Bowling benefit tournament we did a couple uh, weeks ago or a month ago. Uh, my boy Cajun Cannon right here, old Cody Brunet, he actually won in an mm -hmm. auction uh, an East Texas hog hunt. Well, we are here today to put a smack down on some swine. So, Cody B, you ready? I'm ready, Hammer. Hey, next time you see us, we'll be live from the blind. Now, we are gonna be in two separate blinds, but we will have two cameras going. Hopefully, we can get y'all a good kill shot. Y'all check it out. All right, guys, so I'm in the blind. Give you a look at our setup here. It's a, it's a little two-seater box blind on this little, little right away here, okay? But got a feeder right out front there, and I got a protein feeder right over there. Here, piggy, 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 piggy. All right, guys, so uh, uh, we, we sat in the stand a little bit. You saw footage from my stand a um, little bit right before dark, see if we get something coming to the feeder. Uh, but then the real fun begins, son. Hey, uh, me, Cody B, we ain't never done it like this, but they brought out the thermals for us. And it, what's crazy is the very first place they send us to, which real literally is like 100 yards behind the camp. They just said, walk down here and scan these feeders. Uh, and uh, was the stand that you were actually hunting it's the, that night? It's a stand that I or sat that on even? right right before dark. And uh, y'all check out what happened. All right, so the next place they spent sent us to um, was a big right away, had a deer stand on it and a feeder down there about 100 yards from the stand. They told us, just uh, get out get out to the right away, scan the feeder, we didn't see nothing. So we walked down to the feeder, scanned out in the woods, and old big girl is coming. Y'all check this one out. All right, now in this situation here, um, we had done hit a couple of feeders. We went back to the camp for a little cold drink. Uh, and they literally just said, man, we got about a 200 acre bottom right here that is slap marsh mud up to your kneecaps. Turned uh, us loose. They turned us loose. They said, hey, just walk this way and kind of bear to the right, then kind of hang back to the left. Hey, we ain't got flashlight one. We got nothing. We got no GPS, no flashlight. All we got is we look. <laughs> <The> hey, <moon. laughs> we got the moonlight, and we'd walk about 50 yards, scan with the thermals, walk another 50 yards, scan with the thermals. Uh, we came up on a couple of pigs that was kind of off in the distance, uh, but every time we would get up to them, they was already up back. They, they was already back behind us, or or, or 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 this way. But we finally came up across uh, a nice boar about 50 yards in front of us. Took OZ a couple of shots to get in him, but man, listen to this pig squeal in the middle of the pitch black woods. It's an eerie feeling. Y'all check it out.
trying to trying to drag his way off. Dude, I don't have bullets I got left. All right, hey, for now for our last spot, they sent us up this little old dim logging road, and we didn't get a 50 yards up this road. Old Cajun Cannon here does the, does the old scan and whoop, 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 there's a pig. And it wasn't one pig, it was about four or five oh, pigs. Yeah. And they were coming out, like, there was some way down the road and they were coming out the woods. Old Big Daddy walks out to the edge and decides to walk back in. Watch what old Cody B makes short work Check. of this old boy. Check that after shot, a little bit of blood splatter. That's on the right. Ground. That's right. You can actually see the blood on the ground when the pig takes off. Y'all check this out. Until F comes out, you're going to take it. Yeah, I'm going to shoot the one. Right. I'm going to shoot. Wait a minute, I'm froze up. I'm going to shoot the one in the road. There's two on the road. Hang on. Hang on. I'm going to shoot to the one to the left of the road. Okay. Yep. Oh, I hit him inside the head. That got him there, hand. You can go ahead and put one right in the school if you want. Put his mouth real good. Alright, I hit him. I hit him right behind the ear. Yeah, he's right, right behind the ear. Right there. Cajun, talk to me, Ham. Oh, hey, are you living that life? Hey, when you about that life, get out and live it, baby. Hey, did he give you the old four hoofed high five down here? He didn't look. <laughs> Ten got, sla got, got to slap that. Got to slap that pork. All right, so hey, uh, I've never done anything like this. I don't think Cody B has either. Uh, but let me tell you something. It is probably the most fun I ever had hog hunting. I mean, I've run dogs. I've ran up and grabbed them and stuck them. And you guys have seen footage of that. But this thermal hunting, man, uh, it is amazing to me how how close you can actually walk up to the pigs and, and be ready to, to just, you know, go ahead and put them down. See, we left in my house at 3.30. And well, we didn't get home till four o'clock. We didn't get home we about five o'clock. Yeah, <laughs> I got home at five o'clock. But, but man, listen, hogs, deer. I, how many deer did we walk up on? Oh God! Listen, everything I've been taught growing up as a little boy is that deer are very nocturnal animals, and they can, you know, they they can sense everything. Uh, I'm gonna call bull crap on that because we literally walked up on probably 20 different deer just sitting there feeding, had no idea we was even in the world, son. But uh, man. It's just amazing to me how close you can get to these animals at night when you're not walking around with flashlights. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Cody Cody B had a little red light that he would shine once every 30 minutes just to you know j just to scan the area. <laughs> is that but a water moccasin? Yeah, well, <laughs> is that what that was? Um, but for the most part, it was all thermals all the way. Um, you know, finding our way through thickets and through brush and through the woods with a thermal. And it was it was amazing. Uh, it was a lot of work. Now we walked our tail off. We 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 shed some pounds. You can't tell it, but we did. Uh, but man, what a great time, Cody B. Appreciate you uh, letting me Thank come you, on sir. there with you. If y'all don't remember, uh, uh, Cody B actually won this in an auction for the Trevor Bowling Benefit Tournament. And uh, Trevor's Cody, tribe. Trevor's tribe. Cody B. Tell us about where we went hunting and who we went hunting with. Okay, so Mr. Roy was the uh, gentleman who donated this hunt, and we were in between Emory and Canton, little town Fruitville. And he uh, originally took me and my wife out once, and then when we come back, I actually technically left my camera uh, the first go round. The old left his camera behind, had to come out and get it. That's right, that's right. So I asked old Z, I said, hey, uh, you want to come with me? He said, if we, if we want, we can go hunting again. And... How long did that take for me to respond to that text? Uh, you couldn't even get the words out of my mouth. <laughs> I think as he hit, he hit send, I was already replying, <laughs> hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> but uh, but we wanted to give a shout out to Mr. Roy. Thank you for the hospitality. And uh, Willie. And oh, Willie, man. Willie. Willie came through with the thermal. See, Mr. Roy, uh, his thermals were down, and he called a buddy of his 
old, old Willie Hearth, right? Hearth? I believe Bird, it's Hearth. Something like that. And man, he showed up with two fine thermals. One of them had the ability to record. Thank, thanks to him for uh, allowing us to use those those uh, those weapons with, with the thermal optics uh, and for sending me the video so we could uh, show you guys. Man, what a great time. Stay tuned because that's not gonna be the only time that's gonna happen. <laughs> uh -uh. We are currently saving our money now. Now, we're gonna have to save a while. Them thermals ain't cheap, hand, but uh, it won't be the last time you see Z-Dub and the old Cajun cannon out busting pigs after dark. Hey, cuz, when you about that life, what we do? You just gotta get out there and live it, baby. <laughs>